For those of you who don't know, um, Arnab is a tremendous blues musician. Uh, not only does he play the blues harp, he's called the Blow Man, um, but he's also a, a, a kick-ass light guitar player. Arnab, hey man, how's it going? What's up, buddy? How's it going? <laughs> All good. Fantastic seeing you here. So yeah. tell us a little. Um, I'm especially curious about finding out from you what the city's blues and rock and roll scene has been, especially after these yeah. dreadful COVID times, you know? Tell yeah. us more. So COVID's been bad, right? Like. Uh, it's bad for the live scene, but most musicians try to keep the fire burning. Mm -hmm. We were doing, uh, you know, live gigs online and we were trying to reach out to people through Instagram, Facebook and... Well, that was fun, but you know, at the end of the gig, uh, you know, when you have your cold beer and you're all alone and you don't feel like connect with the people, something's missing, right? Something's missing. And then come, come, uh, you know, I don't know, July, August, and when this entire thing started going down, the music scene has opened up, it's banging right now, there are gigs everywhere, and it seems like a resurgence of live music, you know? Yeah. Where people want to play with bands, people want to hear bands, people are coming out to support local artists, and yeah, we are nailing it, man. We are out there playing every opportunity we get, you know, we have our day jobs, we keep that aside, we come here, we want to just let go and uh, I am so glad to be able to come to your gig right now, man. have been looking forward to this, so... Man, fucking tastic, you know, <laughs> you've been working on an album of yours, uh, yeah. a follow-up to the first album, yeah. so tell us more, what kind of what kind of material do you build upon? So, so basically, you know, when, when I got into the blues and I got some of my friends pulled into it, uh, you know, you know, we all hear about, uh, you know, the British musicians, right? We hear about Clapton and, you know, Jimmy Page and, uh, you know, you, the Zeppelin. Hello, mom. Page. Hello, dad. I'm up with some high metal. <laughs> but then, but then, but then, you know, I started trying to understand what were their influences. Mm -hmm. I started going back, back to the Chicago blues scene, back to the Mississippi, back to the Delta. But the real dirty blues started, you know, where people were playing, you know, working a hard day's job, manual labor, coming out of the field and then playing at pubs with resonator guitars because they didn't have amplification, they didn't have PA systems and the speakers used to crack by natural distortion and they created the, you know, set of muddy waters created, invented, invented electricity, right? Natural fucking distortion is what we're talking about, you know. So, a part of natural distortion also comes from the human voice. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's funny he mentions that because Technically, blues meant to be the kind of music with people who don't have a lot of resources, right? Exactly. And, and there's a lot of want in the music, right? And, and, and you know, the feelings distort. The, the expressions distort. And, you know, it, it could be a spoonful of lightning. Could be a spoonful of love. Just a little spoon of your precious love. Good enough for me. So, yeah, the big guys. So, and that's where, that's where my musical journey started. So, I wanted to be influenced the way these guys were influenced. Convert that into electricity. And if you see my rig, it's simple. It's very simple. I just go straight into my amp. And, you know, that sound, that slide guitar, the delta. And I think it's authentic, you know, because... We, we've been brought up to metal and rock and roll and rock and we have those elements as well you can't let go of them and then you have the old delta blues and you know we've done our own lyrics and yeah working on a lot of material i have like 100 songs written and they all sound the same because they're the blues right <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> you know funny he mentions that because there's one thing which i really want to point out when he says dirty he actually means it yeah. all right because a lot of his music uh, talks about stuff that people are not really comfortable talking about. Yeah, people so, tend to walk out and Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Give us a few song titles. Come on. So there's a song. No warming up. Hang on. This is this is a parental advisory warning. No warming up. So Catfish Blues. Mm -hmm. Somebody else. Shit Lame. King. Down Blues. Shit King. <laughs> yeah. And one of my songs starts with the classic Robert Johnson line saying, I'm going to beat my woman till I get satisfied. And Hell yeah! <laughs> and I keep talking about how it's not misogynistic because it's actually talking about things that happen. You know, you're calling it out, you're bringing it out there in a crass way possibly. But that's the best way, you know, you, you hit it. And people like to hear that stuff. Some people get offended, walk out, that's fine. Ten more people come in their place, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're talking about it, we're singing about it, we're trying to make a difference and we're fucking rocking it. So yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. I mean, when you, when you hear stuff like that, it's not hard to believe that, you know, the music scene right now is in good hands. It's, it's an exciting time to be right here in the city. I know the scene's kind of warming up, it's going to set on fire pretty soon. I feel tonight's the night. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> this man's going to take it home. He's going to take us all home and we're going to just go up and up from here. And come lockdowns, you know, uh, yeah, 
you know of course we've lost a lot of people lot of good friends but uh, you know we are torch bearers we, it's a relay race you know someone's passed on the baton to us we are carrying it now we're going to pass it on to others and uh, that's what we are here for so we'll keep doing what we can and we keep bring the fucking blues to you guys so yeah cheers that's my buddy arnab and uh, i am so glad to have caught up with him and to bring this little bit of content little bit of material out to you guys so until the next time tune in and rock and roll man let the blues live on let the blues live on <laughs> all right